Hello guys and welcome to this video where we are going to install Go.4.3, the .NET version and we're going to use Visual Studio Code as our editor and .NET 8 as our compiler. So first of all, go to go.engine.org and click on download latest for the 4.3 version. Then click on the Go.NET here. And let's save this to the downloads folder. So click on save. Next, go to code.visualstudio.com and click on download for Windows and save this in the downloads folder as well. So click on save. Finally, bring up your favorite search engine and search for .NET 8. Then go here to download .NET 8 for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. Then go here to Windows and download the x64 version. And click on save. And while these are downloading in the background, we can go and open up our go.4.3 zip file. Then we double click on this guy, right click and copy. Then let's go to our go dot folder. And for me, this is going to be in my C drive and my go dot folder. And I have the previous versions installed here. So let's right click and let's click on paste. This is going to unzip the files for us and put them here inside of the go dot folder. So we can go in here and minimize the browser in the background. Then hold down the Alt key, left click and drag to create a link on the desktop. Okay, next go back to the browser and check our downloads. And we can now install .NET 8. So let's click on this guy. Once the installer starts up, just click on install and click on yes. And this is going to take a while. So let's start the Visual Studio Code installer as well. Accept the agreement, click next, 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 and next. And then click install. I'll fast forward the video here now for the installations. Okay. So, Visual Studio Code has now been installed, so we can click on finish, and we're going to open this guy up as well. Alright, so once Visual Studio Code starts up, go here to extensions, then search for C Sharp, and install the C Sharp dev kit. And this will automatically install the C Sharp extension as well. These guys have now been installed. Next, we can go and close the installation for .NET 8. So we can click on close here. All right, now let's go to the desktop and start the go.game engine. And here we can click on create new product. And I'm just gonna go by the default new game product here. So click on create and edit. Then once the go.game engine starts up, click on 2D scene, rename this guy to main, go to scene, save scene, click on create folder, call the scenes and click on okay. And click on save. Now go to editor, edit the settings, and scroll down to the bottom here and click on editor and make sure that Visual Studio Code is selected in the list here and click on close. Next, right click the main node, click on attach script, make sure it's a C sharp script here and click on create. Now go back to the go.game engine and click on build and this is going to create all the product files for us. Then just click the script icon to get Visual Studio Code back. Now go to the render method. We can type in gd.print. Let's say hello here. We're going to add a breakpoint in. Next, go here to run a debug. Click on create a launch JSON file. Select C sharp in the list. We can now maximize this guy. Let's click on add configuration. And first add remote debugging attached to .NET process. Then delete the pipe transport. It's only needed for remote debugging. Then go down here and click on add configuration again and select remote debugging launch executable file. Also, delete the pipe transport as well. Next, we need to add the path to this guy. We can open up the folder where we have the go.game engine. Then hold down shift and right click and click on copy as path. If you're on Windows 11, you can just right click and select copy to path. Now, we just go here and press Ctrl V and you will have the path completed here. But you need to change the backslashes to forward slashes. Like so. Then press Ctrl S to save. Next, go back to the main CS file. You can press Ctrl S to save this guy as well. Then from the drop down list here, select Core Launch and click on Play. It's going to say I could not find the task build, so click on Configure Task. Then select Create Task JSON file from a template. Then select .NET Core. 
and click on start debugging again. Now this is only going to work if you have the Godot game menu running in the background. Now we can see count run project no main scene has ever been defined. So we need to go back to the Godot game engine and we need to click on run here and click on select current for the main scene. And this is going to run our project and we can see hello down there printed out. Go back to the code and click on start debugging again. And here we can see we hit the breakpoint for the hello. So we can just press F10 to step through and continue. Now, in order to use the attach method, we need to update our project quickly. So I'm just going to add in the icon.svg here, somewhere like so. Then let's open up the script. And here, I'm quickly going to update this guy. Right, here we have the updated code. We have a sprite 2D for the icon we created. And we define the start position for it here at minus 100 in the x axis and 300 in the y axis. So in the render method, we get the sprite and we set its start position here. And in the process method, we're going to move the icon to the right along the x axis. Then if the icon passes a thousand pixels, we're going to reset it to its start position. So we're going to change the debug point down here. Now, to attach the process, we first need to start it here. So let's start the game. Here we can see the icon is coming, and when it reaches a thousand pixels, it's going to jump back. Now, let's go to the code. Click here, and click on .NET Core Attach, and click on Play. Search for Godot. So which one of these two is it? It's really simple. You take the higher number and click on that guy. And now let's make the window a bit smaller. And let's click on continue here. You can see it comes here and the breakpoint is hit. So you now know how to attach to a process as well. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.